Now, you look on TV today, we got a lot of mess going on with the prophetic. You got people selling your prophecies, calling for your free prophecy, all that foolishness. God never told us to sell prophecy. He said, freely you receive, freely you give. The fellow on TV who's doing it, his principle is right, but his method is wrong. It is biblical that you never came before the prophet without an offering. That's biblical. But it's not right that if someone comes to you who don't have it, you tell them that you can't prophesy to them. Because Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. For he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Because as a prophet, good God from on high, if you don't have money, I can speak a word that will create money. You didn't hear what I just said. So whenever God is getting ready to bring you out of something, he sends a word through the mouth of a prophet to let you know that your present circumstance is getting ready to change. But here is the issue and here is where the church is. We think that the minute God tells us he's going to bless us, the next day everything is going to get better. But can I tell you, the next day seems like things are going to get worse. Because God wants to see if in the midst of what you're going through you're going to hold on to that word that he took. Y'all not talking to me up in here. Slap your neighbor. Tell him I might not have money but I got a word from the Lord. I got a word that told me many are the afflictions of the righteous but God shall deliver. Now, let me hit another demon. You got some people who are prophecy junkies. Run from place to place looking for a prophet. You might be quiet in here. Want somebody to prophesy them something to fall out the sky. But if don't nobody prophesy to me, I can wake up in the mirror Wake up in the morning, go look in the mirror, and guess what I do? Prophesy to myself. Why? Tell somebody, spoken word, I'm done, can be changed. You didn't say that right. Tell somebody, a spoken word can be changed. I got to prove that with Bible. You don't believe it? All you got to do is ask Hezekiah. The Bible declares that God sent a prophet by the name of Isaiah to Hezekiah's house to tell him, set your house in order because you're getting ready to die. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall. And the Bible declared that before Isaiah left the court, the same prophet that told him he was getting ready to die had to turn around and tell him God was going to add 15 years to his life. So the spoken word can be changed, but the written word can't be changed. And that's why if don't nobody prophesy to you, you got to have enough word on the inside of you that you can look at the devil in his face and tell the devil, I don't need a prophet to tell me that I'm blessed. I'm blessed because Deuteronomy 28 declares that if I hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to do all that he's commanded me to do this day, I'm blessed in the cities. I'm blessed in the fields. I'm blessed when I come and I'm blessed when I go. See, let me tell you something. When you get this word on the inside, the Bible declares in Psalm 1, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sinner nor sitteth in the seat of the scoffer but his delight is in the law of the Lord and in his law does he meditate day and night for he shall be like a tree that's been planted by 
out the rivers of water. See, you know what's wrong with some of y'all? Some of y'all are a bunch of schizophrenic Christians. You got a praise on Sunday, but you don't have one on Monday because you ain't got no word on the inside. But when you get this word on the inside, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against her. He said he's going to be like a tree that's been planted by the rivers of water that bring up forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. But I like the rest of the scripture. He said the way of the ungodly is not so but you like the shaft that the wind driveth away. See to the wicked folk you might have money right now you might be prospering right now but it's only temporary because the wealth of the wicked is getting ready to be transferred into the hands of the righteous I need you to go run to about five people and tell them I got the word I got the word I got the word When you get this word on the inside and I'm done so I'm sitting up one day and I said Lord I don't just want to be a prophet that tell folks stuff and it just happened but I want to have some word on the inside and the Holy Ghost said to me he said son if you really want to become a product of the word he said you got to meditate on it I said well God what is meditation he said well first of all I need you to understand that the more word you get in you the more valuable you are to me you didn't hear what I just said I said the more word you get on the inside the more valuable you become to God because God ain't watching over your flesh he watches over his word but if you ain't got no word in you it ain't nothing in you for God to watch over so I'm sitting up in prayer and I said to the Lord he said you got to meditate on the word I said but God what in the world is meditation he said meditation is marination I said what that sound good but I still don't know what you're talking about he said meditation is marination I said explain that to me he said well you remember how your grandma used to cook that chicken and it was real good I said yeah he said well right now if you get you a piece of chicken and fry it he said if, you, if, if it's not good enough you can sprinkle you a whole bunch of salt on it he said if it's too salty you can sprinkle the salt off because the salt is on it he said but if you marinate that piece of chicken and put it in the refrigerator a night before put your seasoning on it he said if in the morning if you put some flour on that chicken and then you fry it he said if it's too salty you just got to deal with the salt because the salt ain't on it the salt is in it when you meditate on the word the word ain't just on you but the word gets in you that's why David declared the word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against thee I need you to look at your neighbor because I feel like preaching now I need you to grab your neighbor's hand don't be cute about it I need you to grab your neighbor's hand come on drummer I feel like having a little church I said grab your neighbor's hand and shake it like you're trying to shake it off give me some drums I don't hear I said shake it like you're trying to shake it off and say neighbor God told me to tell you that he's getting ready to take you places that you've never been before God's getting ready to turn your thing around because weeping may endure for a night but joy oh joy is coming in the morning grab somebody and say neighbor excuse me but I'm getting ready to pull you it's time for you to come out it's time to come out of depression it's time to come out of oppression it's time to come out of doubt so do me a favor if you would do me a favor stand on your feet in here grab you a partner but don't grab nobody cute go ahead and turn my mic up i'm from the ghetto 
I said grab your partner and say neighbor I don't know what you've been in I don't know what you've been going through don't know what you've been crying about but I want you to know that after tonight God is getting ready to pull you out of the mess you've been in God is getting ready to turn your situation around late in the midnight hour God don't turn it around I need somebody to go ahead when I count the three I want you to pull up are you ready one two three I said pull up pull them out of depression pull them out of pain pull them out of misery pull them out of suicide it's your time it's your season it's your hour for your breakthrough he may not come when you want him but he's always on time say it say it say it Say it, say it. I Tell somebody you don't know what I've been going through. You don't know what I've been up against. You don't know what the devil has been trying to do to me. But I want you to know that no weapon, y'all don't preach it up in here, no weapon, no weapon, the witch can't hex me, the warlock can't vex me, do what you're gonna do, if God be for me, who, I said who, I said who, can be against me, do me a favor, slap your neighbor, and I want you to slap him hard. Slap him real hard. I'm doing it for a reason. I said slap him real hard. Say neighbor, why are you slapping me? Say neighbor, why are you bothering me? Say neighbor, the reason I'm slapping you, when God begins to bless you, I'm gonna have to slap you because you gonna think you're having a dream but it ain't no dream it's the real thing it's your time it's your season it's your hour for a breakthrough say it say it say it oh, yeah. tell somebody it's all the way somebody it's on the way it's time to go home now because I, I feel the Holy Ghost I feel something stirring up on the inside but right before we leave go find you a partner don't find nobody cute find you somebody who look like they've been through something you ain't moving yet you're going to hell because you don't obey I said go find you a partner find you somebody you don't know if you can will you do that pastor you know everybody but I said go find you somebody that you don't know come on I'm waiting on you I'm waiting on you don't take all night because you're gonna miss it I said don't take all night because you're gonna miss it when you get to your person hold you hold them hands up in the air when you got the person tell, tell me you got them wave and say I got them I got find somebody Look at him and say, neighbor, I'm holding you because I want you to know for all you've been through, you went through, for all the pain you came up against, God told me to tell you, there's a blessing waiting for you. By the end of this year, he's going to blow your mind. He's going to throw you a 
surprise party. So get ready for your miracle. Go wait till the battle's over. Go ahead and shout now. Go ahead and praise him now. Go ahead and give him glory. I feel the Holy Ghost. Who is the King of Glory? Lift your head, O oh ye gates, be ye lifted up, ye everlasting Lord, the King of Glory. Shout to me, who is, who is, who is the King of Glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. Who is the King of Glory? The Lord, mighty in battle. Somebody need to scream. Scream, scream, uh, 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 scream. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. Lift your hands. Just turn it down in the mouth. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. That same person that you just prophesied to that God was getting ready to bless look at him again Look at them in their eyes. If you look deep enough, you'll see all the stuff they're going through. So I need you to look. I said, look at them in their eyes. If you look at them, you'll see that they've been having some upset days. If you look at them, you'll see that they almost didn't think they was going to make it. Look at them! Look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them. See the pain, see the hurt, see the letdown, see the disappointments, see the struggles, see the sleepless nights, see it, I need you to see it, I need you to see it. Hold that hand tight that you're looking at, tell them neighbor. I don't know if you know what a miracle feels like, but neighbor, if you don't know, I want you to know you're touching a miracle. I shouldn't be here right now. He looked beyond all of my 